Alright, hello guys and welcome to your April 14th Severe Weather Outlook. Today we're going to get started with your Day 1 Categorical Outlook and you can see in the light green area we have a general thunderstorm risk. In this category we usually do not see any severe weather but sometimes we do so be on the lookout if you are in the light green area. In the dark green we see sometimes severe weather. This is kind of like a really isolated severe weather uh, type category in the marginal risk which again is the dark green. We sometimes see reports but not always. In the yellow section though we do start to see some scattered severe weather reports and severe thunderstorms within this yellow section and then in the enhanced risk which is the orange section we do see some more organized severe weather to start to take place possibly a line of severe thunderstorms with wind damage being the main concern that's the type of thing we would see in an enhanced risk so that's when we start to get a little bit more organized with it now we're going to take a look at your kind of individual severe weather aspects according to like a percentage of risk here. Uh, and keep in mind these percentages are based on the chance of seeing these individual things within 25 miles of any location within a color shading. So within the brown section, you have a 5% risk of seeing a uh, of seeing wind damage within 25 miles of a given location within that brown section obviously. So firstly, we're looking at wind again. The brown is 5% chance of seeing wind damage within 25 miles of a location in there. The yellow section here is where we see a 15% chance of wind damage within 25 miles of a location within there. And then within your red section, we have a 30% chance of seeing wind damage within 25 miles of a given location within that red section. So wind is the biggest concern within that uh, enhanced risk area as I had stated before. Now we're going to look at your hail risk, and this isn't really the biggest risk here for today, but we do have a 5% chance of tw within 25 miles of any given location within that brown section, and then the yellow section we have a 15% chance within 25 miles of a given location. Now for your tornado risk, we do have a 2% risk here in the green section of a tornado being reported within 25 miles of a location within that green section. In the brown section we have a 5% chance, and then in the yellow section we have a 10% chance. We're going to look at your day two outlook, and again, just a general thunderstorm risk here from Nevada all the way into Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin, and then we have one for coastal New England, and then one for southern Florida. Your day three risk, which is Tuesday, we have a general thunderstorm risk here, mostly for the four corner states, Nevada, California, Idaho, Idaho all the way over to Iowa. Now your day four outlook, and this is going to be your extended range, so we're not going to get a categorical outlook on this one, we're just going to get a percentage. We do have a 15% risk within this yellow section, which translate to a, translates to a slight risk. And then in that orange section, we have a 30% risk of severe weather, and that translates to an enhanced risk. Day 5, that moves east. We see it extend from Chicago all the way down into your Gulf states, and that's most likely going to be a slight risk once we get to Thursday. And then day six, we see that move to the southeast coast of the United States. From D.C. down through Florida, we have a slight risk for Friday, 15% chance for that day. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe out there, and I hope to see you in the next Severe Weather Outlook video.